The Christmas Prince is currently getting a lot of love and attention on Netflix. The film was released in 2017. I hadn't heard of it until this year. And I thought, it was time I checked it out and saw what all the fuss was about. And I have to say, I really loved it. There's a lot that I'd like to talk about, but I'm going to make this spoiler free. So you're safe to listen if you haven't seen it. But if you would like to talk about specific aspects with me, please drop me a message. I'd love to kind of go into more detail about this. It's directed by Alex Sam and written by Karen Shaler and Nate Kins. And I'll read the description from IMDb because I feel like it's a pretty accurate description of what it's about without giving anything away. When a reporter goes undercover as a tutor to get the inside scoop on a playboy prince, she gets tangled in some royal intrigue and ends up finding love. But will she be able to keep her lie? So it is a Christmas rom-com. But there are two reasons why I love this. The protagonist is brilliant. And there's a child actor in this who is fantastic. So we'll deal with the narrative first and then I will give praise to the wonderful performances. So the narrative I love. She is a reporter. She does sneak her way in. And one way or another she finds herself becoming the princess's tutor. And she spends a lot of time with this princess who is about 10 years old I think. And... You know, you're on edge quite a lot of the film because you think, is she going to get found out? How will she be able to pull this off? She's got having to use a false name. Nobody knows she's a reporter. I feel like it's very predictable with her character development because initially she's got her foot in the door. She's trying to get a really juicy story, but the more she gets to know the prince, the more she sees him as a human being and not just, you know, something for the media to attack. And the more she gets to know him, the more she realises that she doesn't necessarily want to find anything juicy. But, it's a film, she does uncover something juicy. What that is, I'm not going to say. But I think it reveals things at a really good pace. I really liked how the narrative developed. At no point did it feel rushed. It was never too slow. We didn't have the same characters over and over again. It brought in new people at the right time. And obviously everything centres around Amber, played by Rose MacGyver. And I thought she was a brilliant protagonist to carry this story. I liked her as a journalist. I liked her even more when she was being the tutor. I liked the way she reacted um, with Princess Emily. And Emily is brilliant. She's played by Honor Neefsey. And absolutely sensational. So she would have been she's 16 now the film was three years ago so she would have been about 12 or 13 when this was filmed and her performance is amazing we see two sides to princess emily she starts off being really horrible and a real troublemaker to her tutor and then we get to see a nicer side of her and i just think she was brilliantly acted really really impressive and really captivating whenever princess emily was on screen i kind of couldn't look away from her she there was just something about her that made her really likeable as a character and I think her character development, everybody's development was brilliant and I have absolutely no complaints about that at all. Um, we have Ben Lam as Prince Richard who I think is very good, I really liked him. He's not, you know, usually with a film like this the prince will never let his guard down, he will always be perfectly polished, very well spoken and not relaxed. But because this is set mostly inside the palace, we actually get to see Prince Richard letting his guard down and being more of his natural self. And I really liked that and I really found that uh, quite refreshing. There are some interesting twists in this. I did not know how it would resolve itself. I had no idea that that's what would happen and I couldn't have guessed it. I definitely would not have predicted that. So the ending was really quite a surprise as well. And the lead up to the conclusion as well was full of surprises. And that was absolutely lovely. Character development, great. Narrative, great. There was a gentle soundtrack. I really liked that. Honestly, I I cannot fault this film at all. Took me three years to see it since it was released, but honestly, I have to say, A Christmas Prince is a wonderful film. It's not the most festive film in the world, but it is visually gorgeous. 
and we do have quite a bit of Christmas as well. It's not completely void of Christmas. The characters are great, acting's great, soundtrack's lovely, visually beautiful, narrative is wonderful, the development's amazing. What more could I ask for? I didn't think a Christmas Prince would live up to its hype, I have to say. It completely did. <laughs> 